car fentanyl takes it to a whole new level. Unfortunately, today is the first day that we've been able to confirm this. And worse yet, I think we all understand it's likely not the last day. This drug can put down uh, an animal that weighs between five and six tons. The alarm sounded in late April of last year. Carfentanil confirmed in New Hampshire. Authorities bracing for what could be a wave of overdose deaths because... Most people who we have seen with possession of carfentanil didn't know it was carfentanil. Agencies collaborated and moved to centralize the flow of information about carfentanil. In an extraordinary move, it was decided the Attorney General's office would investigate every carfentanil possession case. At the time, the crisis often had the state forensic lab working straight through the night. Now the AG's office gets real-time reporting if a drug analysis reveals carfentanil. When they do a test, once it's confirmed, we will get an email within probably an hour. To date, New Hampshire has recorded 50 separate carfentanil identifications, and of those, 12 resulted in overdose deaths. If prosecutors have the evidence, they say they'll pursue elevated death-resulting charges against the seller of carfentanil. The U.S. Attorney's Office says that brings a mandatory minimum sentence of 20 years in prison, but... We have to be able to prove that the drug that was sold is in fact the drug that caused the death. Right now, New Hampshire authorities are cautiously optimistic about containing the drug. The last confirmed carfentanil overdose death was last May, and there are currently no death-resulting cases pending. But officials in Canada sounded the alarm last month when large amounts of carfentanil were uncovered in Quebec after a 59-year-old man overdosed. And in Pennsylvania, four overdose deaths in January are now linked to carfentanil. When those things happen, we know that the ugly head of carfentanil may be rearing itself here in New Hampshire once again. Authorities are relieved that the monitoring put in place in New Hampshire seems to be working for now, but stress they have to remain aggressive to ensure that carfentanil does not become a scourge in this area. I'm really proud of the fact that New Hampshire is now being looked at uh, around the country as having this quote unquote playbook for this response. Preston Thorpe, the alleged drug dealer who triggered that statewide panic when authorities say they found carfentanil in his apartment last year, remains behind bars. But there have been no carfentanil charges filed against him. His conviction was for a different type of opioid called U47700, a drug seven to eight times stronger than morphine. For News 9 Investigates, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.